It's Mother's Day just around the corner. It's all about the mamas today. The running joke, I'm the only one without a child. Good morning and welcome to The Morning Show with Kelly and Barbara. It's a Mother's Day special. I know, Fridays are usually family Fridays anyway and with Mother's Day just around the corner, we thought what better way to celebrate and pay tribute to our mums than to have them on the show. Exactly, so we've got a whole host of mothers coming your way, but hopefully you guys enjoyed your workout. First Light, which took place at 7.30 this morning. And Cheryl and Uncle Sam at 8.30. Uncle Sam, yes. Uncle Sam? 10 o'clock, you get a good solid dose of us. Later on at 3 p.m., you've got Uppercut coming in to box it out with Sam as well. Wow, then 9 p.m., you've got Evenings with John and Duncan. So a whole host of activities to keep you occupied throughout the course of this day. And of course, we're rounding up our week. Great public holiday yesterday, mm -hmm. but the weekend is always upon us. upon us and it's 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 always such a good feeling but before we get into all the good feels a little bit of good news and of course the updates with our COVID numbers for today 741 new cases of which seven were community cases we're seeing a nice decline here in our community cases mm. five of them singaporeans and prs and two of them work passes we've had nine work permit holders outside the dorms and 725 within the dorms that brings us to about 87 percent linked to known clusters and the rest all pending contact tracing these are, these, it's a good sign, but I definitely would feel a lot more comfortable if within the last two weeks of Circuit Breaker, we were getting our community cases down to zero. Obviously, yes. with the construction companies, it will take a little longer for them to get back to work. But for the rest of us, hopefully we'll be able to resume some sense of normalcy. And you know what? Next Tuesday, I can get my hair cut. Hey, you are so excited. I'm it is so ridiculous. excited. <laughs> a lot of people are excited, but remember you don't want to be in the hairdressers or the barbers for more than about half an hour. Just get your snip done. If your roots are showing, deal with I'm it. I'm sorry, deal with it <laughs> yes. until after the circuit breaker. Okay, today, what are we giving away? We've got Subway, so you can get a free Eat Subway fresh. meal. Eat fresh. you got to do it with a tune. Eat fresh. Okay, don't do it with a tune. So <laughs> <laughs> you can get a free Subway meal from a Grab. All right, so it'll be an entire meal via Grab. Um, all you need to do is comment with a message to your mum. I mean, give given us, it's the Mother's us, Day. Yeah, exactly. Mother's Day's on Sunday. So why don't you send us a little love note to your mother and maybe you'll be getting that Subway meal to give to her. Don't forget to like and share the Good Morning, oh sorry, the Good Morning <laughs> Show, the Morning Show with Kelly and Barbara on your Facebook page as well and follow Get Active TV's Facebook page um, and drop us that little comment. Lots of love going around today. Why do you love mum? Because she feeds me so good. <laughs> Damn it, that was what I was going to say as well. Our mom's like the best cook. Yeah. Uh, anyway, we are going to go for a short break. When we return, like we said, it's all about the mummies, right? So what better than to have a pregnant mummy to be come on show and tell us exactly if you are a mummy who's pregnant at home right now, how you can ease those body aches and stretch it out when you can't go out there and get to those prenatal classes. Don't go anywhere. This is The Morning Show with... Kelly and Barbara.
welcome back to the morning show. Kelly has toddled out for just a little bit, and I have with me instead Annabelle Chu from Wee Bar. We're going to get our stretch on. Um, as you can tell, maybe not from the front or from the back, but from the side, you can tell <laughs> that Annabelle is pregnant. Congratulations. Thank you. Number one, yes? Yes, the first one. And how far yeah. along are we? We're 36 weeks. So, so just a few more weeks left. Wow. Yeah. And you said this morning you yeah. taught a class, so you're still yeah. teaching. Yeah. Yeah. I've got one more week of classes to go, but it's been amazing. Wow. Yeah. So talk to us a little bit about um, WeBar. When did WeBar start? How's it going? Yeah, so uh, we started about four and a half years ago now. Um, so bar, for those of you who are um, not sure what it is, is a mix of Pilates and ballet put together. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's a really strong workout that is so addictive. Mm. Um, you know, we've grown to four locations in Singapore, one in Hong Kong now. And yeah, with, you know, whatever is happening in the last, you know, couple months, now we're taking our classes virtually. Yeah. So we've been, you know, doing lots of classes Awesome. Online. So with regards to your pregnancy, you've obviously spent, I would say, the last trimester in the lockdown, yeah. kind of-ish. How has that yeah. been? Has it been a weird adaption for you? It's a little bit strange at first because I'm really active. I like going out, doing things. We had all these plans like before 32 weeks. We had trips planned and all of that. Um, we before had, the like, cutoff point. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and we had all these amazing events planned in the studio that we had to just postpone it for a while. But that being said, it's been amazing because virtually, instead of seeing 20 people in a class, I can see 100 of our you know, most loyal, most regular wow, clients now. Wow, that so is actually, amazing. There is a silver lining to it all. So you've got like a hundred, and it's on Zoom, I would it's on Zoom. Say, on Zoom, right? Mm -hmm. So you've got like a hundred people coming in for these amazing yeah. bar classes. Yeah. And how many classes do you guys run a week? We run about 38 classes a week. And so yeah. this is like across all your instructors mm -hmm. and wow. Yeah. Yeah. And then it's gonna, been incredible. Um, and okay, so going into having, I would say, everyone calls it a COVID baby now. Um, <laughs> Uh, so for, for people who, you know, regardless of what point in their pregnancy, it is mm -hmm. a little bit more difficult now because they can't go out to these prenatal classes. And I, I understand sure. that you guys have prenatal classes, right? Yeah, so we do one prenatal class a week um, every Monday at 12 p.m. This is on the current schedule? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so virtually it's a smaller group class for sure and it's great for pre and postnatal mummies to ah, go on it. Ah, okay. Yeah. So okay, maybe what we can do today, so, so for all you mums, out there who are pregnant or you know just given birth and you're at home and you want to do some pre or postnatal stretches um, Annabelle is here to help you out what are the some of the stretches that we can do at home I mean I'm not pregnant but we can yeah. pretend right <laughs> yeah just cuz you know when you're at home your movements are a little bit more limited yeah you're a little bit you know more sedentary sitting down stretching is a really great way because as we all know when you're pregnant your posture changes you get heavy and tight in some places so we're just gonna do some simple stretches that you can do from home and I noticed that you have a little like you know box little over boxes. here so in the studio we have bars right where we put our legs up super high but in case that's not available for that, you that casual kick up and just went all the way out there, 90 degrees. <laughs> so let's like do something a little bit lower, okay? okay? So you can rest one foot on like any furniture, a small stool or something right. like that. And then you reach your arms up and come into just a gentle side bend. Okay, okay. so you're, you're working the full side. Yeah, so not only are you getting some stuff on the side, you're getting this as well into your inner thighs. And do we want to aim for the hips to be as square as possible? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So you're so not leaning into it. In this way, try yeah. to think about going out this way. Oh, she looks so, yeah. so elegant as well. <laughs> okay. Yeah. What else cool. have we got? So that's something for the lower body. Mm -hmm. And then another place that gets like tight a lot is your upper body, your back and all of that. So I'm just going to like sit here. Go for it. Okay. So on the sideways, something that's really good to do is pelvic tilts. So thinking about tucking and untucking your pelvis. Uh -huh. And then while you do that, think about your spine as well. So rounding and opening and this actually helps um, pregnant mummies when you're about to give birth as well just to get a little bit more opening through the hips and that helps you stretch out all the time. I love that there's so much movement in her belly it's great. <laughs> yeah so just okay, so that, like that, getting that, used that to that little bit of a yeah. hip thrust and the rotation going yeah. on. Oh. 
Yeah, oh, so that's okay. good not only just for your pelvis, but also you stretch out through your spine and all that. It feels pretty good. It's like a cat and cow almost. Yeah, except yeah. that you don't have to be on all fours. Yeah, you can, um, but sometimes when you're on all fours, the belly feels heavy. It's a bit heavy. Yeah. Okay, yeah. what else have we got? Cool. Um, and then the shoulders. Okay, yeah. something really easy. Just take your shoulders up and down. Just a couple of shoulder rolls like that, mm. you know, just to encourage that. And then a couple of like neck stretches just to the side. Just here this way. And I like this one. You interlace your hands behind your head. Yeah. And you just bow down, wrap your elbows around. And then as you open up, just open up this way. And then and you do feel you, amazing. When you when you bow down, do you mm -hmm. kind of want to have that curve in your spine when you yeah. go for it? So then you feel like your thoracic spine that gets a tight a lot. Nice open it just up. opens up that ah, way. And then okay. you feel like, you know, the back of your neck lengthens as well. So that's good. Oh. Yeah. Any okay, so is that all for the stretches? Yeah, pretty for the, much. For the mamas, that's a that's a good base to work with, I think. Yeah, when it just comes a few, to... like the key postural muscles. So you want to think about here, through the hips, yeah. through the side of the body, the chest and the shoulders, the spine, and just a quick neck one. It takes five, ten minutes to do. Feel Fair free enough. to hold for as long as you need. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. What kind of um, regularity should mamas be? be going for and, and what kind of duration? Yeah, so duration you can hold for as long as you would like, um, just so that, you know, uh, when you come out of it, you mm. feel like you've got a good stretch. The really important thing to note is that when you're holding a stretch, to breathe. So a lot of okay. people, when they're holding stretches, they get like we really forget, tense. forget, I have that yeah. problem all the time. I'm just like, okay, I'm doing it. <laughs> and then my face starts turning a little bit blue. Yeah, so, and. It's up to you how many times you want to do. Do it whenever you feel like a little stiff, a little bit low on energy. Because mm. when you stretch, you're encouraging blood flow as well. So that's a ah. nice thing to do. Okay, so what kind of, um, for your classes that you guys run, mm -hmm. okay, how, how can people jump on it? Um, so you can go to webar.com. Webar is spelled W-E-B-A-R-R-E. Ta-da! Yep, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> so either on our website, our Instagram page has lots of information as well. So during this time, the easiest way to reach out to us is through emails, Instagram, DMs, Facebook, and our team responds really quickly. So all the class schedules are online. Yeah. And then you can see what fits best in your timing. Yeah, what kind of timings do you guys run? Um, we run classes through the day. So typically we have the 7, 8 a.m.s, the mid-mornings, afternoon, mid-afternoon, and then the evening crowd. Everyone, everyone is covered. Yeah. Whether, whether yeah. you're uh, working less during this period or working yeah. more during this period, I think there's always a slot for you. Yeah. Amazing. Well, thank you so much for Thanks, joining Barbara. us here today. All the best. You've got a couple more weeks here. We can't yeah. wait to see what the little one is like when yeah. she... It's a little girl, right? Yeah, she's <gasps> a girl. <laughs> when she pops. Um, congratulations again. We're Thank wishing you. you all the best. And hopefully in the future, we can get you back with the small one as well. I'm sure. Yay. That'll be fun. <laughs> all right, we're going to pop off for a short break. But when we come back, Kelly is back. And we've got a very, very special guest with us today. I love how this rush gear makes me feel. Every time I put it on, I feel super powerful. My training is super intense, so I need something like this that's gonna make me feel strong and ready to go.
Welcome back to the morning show with Kelly and Barbara and Mama Latima. Yay! We decided that <laughs> since Barbara is still living at home, make no jokes, uh, that it would be okay for Mum to come on the show. So all three of us can be on set because we live in the same household. What's <laughs> up? I, however, have not been able to hug my mum in a month now, and I'm really mm. sad. Mum, are you sad? Do you miss me? Of course. Yeah. Who wouldn't? <laughs> yeah, but the only thing is, the one person that she misses more than me is my daughter. So as a grandparent, what has been the impact of COVID-19 on your relationship with your family? Um, it's really sad. You, you know, it's so close, and yet it seems so far away from you. You know how knitted our family is, you know. A phone call away, someone will be there. Mm. But you just feel like even a phone call away, you can't get that hug. Still can't that, cuddle. Uh, yeah, even, even just chatting on the phone or FaceTime, it's just so different. Like yesterday, Sienna called. I just have to pick up. I say, if I don't pick up, I might miss this one in, for the day. That was a funny yeah. phone call, wasn't it? It was. Do you want to tell us what it was about or <laughs> are we going to skip through that? I think... Um, I, yeah, no, yeah. I think we're going to talk about it. So. <laughs> <laughs> we see Sienna called mum um, and she's like oh Nana where are you Nana was like oh I'm I'm at home and she's like no where are you Nana was like I I'm at home at Nana's house she's like no Nana where are you and, and Nana was like oh you mean where in the house am I and Sienna just knew she was in the toilet <laughs> But she was just egging for mum to say, like, I'm in the toilet. <laughs> She's so sassy nowadays. I mean, the other day she called and Sienna, uh, mum was like... Showing sh something. Yeah, she she, she, mum was like, oh, where are you, Sienna? She's like, Nana, put your glasses on. I'm in the garden. <laughs> yeah. I was like, wow, sass. And then we've got a couple of pictures as well of um, oh. how... The family is. I mean, we're, we're a very close-knit family. Yes. Um, so it is very awkward. That was us at Christmas. Um, but yeah, I think it has been a little bit of a struggle. I think what I miss most is like, uh, we have the family dinner together. Mm -hmm. I think um, whenever I put dish on the table, especially now, I'm not at work. So I spend a lot of time in the kitchen. Yo, I'm not complaining. <laughs> I know you're not. <laughs> <laughs> but then you just think about the people around that used to be on the table, sitting by to enjoy the food that you cook. And it's just, it's just hard to, to accept. So now what I did is, oh, you're going to see Kelly tomorrow? Or shall we get a grab to deliver this food over to Kelly? Yeah, <laughs> or like Justin, so that they will have it. <laughs> literally, they will yeah. order a grab to deliver food to us that mum has yeah. cooked. And yes. she, mum will tell <laughs> Barbara and dad to stop eating to make sure that there's leftovers <laughs> for us to eat. I think my mum doesn't believe I can cook. <laughs> you can. It's just that I miss you all. That's all. Aww, no, a lot. That one. Yeah. I like that one. That's a nice one. She looks exactly like Justin there, her yeah. dad, with the nose scrunch. Mm -hmm. um, okay, so. You know, you've been into fitness, joining the Fit Fam mm -hmm. over quite a while now. Um, why did you actually? Before we get into why, let's take a look at what Mum does um, as part of her daily routine. <laughs> we got sound on this. Wow! <laughs> I know. Look at the form on that. Got prowlers going on. <laughs> I love it. So, the uh, this this walking thing that Mum does, uh, she uh, look at that stairs. Stairs. Actually, that inspired me to do stairs. I might do that today. <laughs> <laughs> right. So, Mum casually uh, does this walking exercise thing online. Tell 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 us how you discovered it. Okay. Um, a year ago, I was just taking a walk at a park. It's hard work. Mm -hmm. And I feel like I'm just so unfit because I'm sitting in the office most of the time, um, working and less going out, less keeping fit. Um, 
So I decided, and then I started getting so much <laughs> ache and pain. Sorry, I just saw that photo of me. I'm like, wow, cheeks. Okay. So there's so much ache and pains that I'm, I'm going through. And uh, there's so a few scares. And I decided, right, I got to do something. Nobody can help me except I can help myself. So I did it. Um, so I started from very small steps. And what motivated me to use it to push me a bit further, I used to have the steps count. And I find that that is still not enough for me. So when you recommended me to yeah, so I, 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 gave, I gave mum the gum in Vivo Smart 4. And, mm. and really motivate me to push a little bit further. So and can you tell everyone, uh, roughly in an average workout day, how many steps do you do each day? Okay, on the average, I do about 20. 20,000 steps, people. My I have mother... like five if I'm lucky. <laughs> I'm really not good at this step count thing. 20,000 steps. Yeah. But I hit my first 10,000 steps on the first hour. I do my cardio. Mm -hmm. That's what I do. And um, my cardio is very important because my, I need to push the heart rate up to 150, 160, max to 170, and drop it down as quick as possible. So with the first hour, that will be my 10,000 steps. Look at you, girl, uh, getting in all these numbers. <laughs> I, I just need to know. And then climbing up the stairs is because I work on the 18th floor. That's another motivation why I need to work, climb the stairs. It's because there was a fire drill at the office a few months ago. <laughs> and my staff was all so worried about me because by the time I climbed down, that was climbing down the steps. I couldn't even climbing down the steps. We were feeling breathless and my leg couldn't move. And they say, shall we carry you? I said, no way, you will <laughs> fall. <laughs> you will drop me. But, it, but it's, nice to, <laughs> it's nice to see that you've taken all these and put a positive spin on it. And instead mm. of going, well, that's it. I'm never going to climb stairs again. I'm never mm. going to be able to walk. I'm never going to be able to run after my grandchild. Yeah. You've actually taken positive steps to say, I'm going to walk, <laughs> walk, 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 walk. Yeah, and so this, this, <laughs> and, this and walking thing that mum does every day. So oh. it's a video that gets played on the, the screen. You found these on YouTube. Mm. Um, Do you know what the program's called? I don't know, it's like a step-a-thon or something like walk. this, or walk exercise. <laughs> it's just, it's great, it's absolutely fantastic. Like mm. the movements she does, um, and she wears proper shoes as well, same as how you would wear, like if you were going outside to train. And uh, this, this lady, she's constantly saying, walk, 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 walk. And it's just, it's like we can just hear when mom is doing her morning exercise. But it's great because you've started to incorporate different types of workouts, mm. Um, mm. a little bit of strengthening mm. with the resistance bands. Mm. Um, when did you start, like really start being consistent about it? Um, that's after my neck exercise. Uh, no, my neck op, mm. sorry. My neck operation, I've got a slip disc on my neck. So after that, the doctor say, well, you've got to strengthen the muscle and you need to go to see the physio. And you fit. I went to see you fit. And uh, so I started strengthening the neck. Mm. And I decided, okay, give me rest for one month. And from there onward, I take off. And you have taken off. She I've has taken, taken off. off. I think anyone I who can manage yeah. an average of yeah. 20,000 steps yes. a day is pretty impressive. Yeah. Mum, thank you for sharing and inspiring other people, I think, to hopefully get out there and put a positive spin mm. on things. Exactly, it hasn't, it hasn't been easy because mom's been very blessed all her life with the highest of highest metabolic rates. So she's <laughs> always been that skinny petite little lady and then suddenly uh, as you got a little bit older then you realised that you actually did need to do some exercise. My gosh, it does. Oh my goodness me, but, I do need it. <laughs> but you're looking great now. You, you are a lot, fab, girl. Thank you, you are healthier than you have ever been before. And as Thank your daughters, you. we are very, very proud of you. So happy Thank Mother's you. Day in advance. This is the closest I'm going to get to you. 
um, for for a few more weeks. Uh, so there there you have it. Our our mum, we love you very very much, and we're very very proud of you. And love hopefully, you it inspires some of the other mothers out there. If you're approaching 60 as well, you can turn yourself around. You can get fitter. You can start doing basic things like just walking, increasing your cardio every single day, and take baby steps. And who knows, you'll be doing 20,000 steps before you know it. We're going to go for a short break. When we return, we say bye-bye, mummy. But we say hello <laughs> to another mama who's going to be joining us in studio, Suan Heng. Don't go anywhere. This is The Morning Show with Kelly and Barbara. rush gear makes me feel every time I put it on I feel super powerful my training is super intense so I need something like this that's gonna make me feel strong and ready to go Welcome back to The Morning Show with Kelly and Barbara. A quick reminder, if you haven't done so already, you can get in there for a Subway meal via Grab by just commenting on our feed and sending us your love messages to your mother. But make sure that you're also sharing our stream on your page as well. Joining us in studio now, though, is another mother to be, Suan Heng, former <laughs> professional golfer, uh, current wife to Mike Kasem, yes. and mama to be. How many weeks do you have left? I have right about seven weeks to go. Seven, seven weeks, weeks to go. Yes, it's um, boy or girl? Let's tell boy. everyone. Boy, it's a baby boy. It's no secret. Oh, baby boy. Yeah, yeah. I know. We're excited. I've, I've seen all the pregnancy announcement photos as well. Like mm -hmm. you and Mike <laughs> on the golf course with the little shoes. <laughs> like um, both you and Mike love golf. That's that's mm -hmm. no that's no secret. Yeah. Do you think this baby is going to love golf as much as you? Well, you know, we talked about it a lot. Um, I, I, I think we're definitely going to get him started playing golf. We're going to let him try it out, see if he likes it himself. You know, I mean, I, I had that that advantage of, of my parents allowing me to try different things. And um, golf caught on for me, and maybe it'll be the same for him, maybe not. Well, but, considering um, that you guys are spending uh, Circuit Breaker at home <laughs> playing golf on the PlayStation or the Xbox, yes. um, yeah, I think this child is going to be really <laughs> exposed to golf. Um, so tell us, how are you dealing with, co uh, with COVID and Circuit Breaker? You know, it, it's it, just like Annabelle, it, we've kind of talked about it a little bit. It, look, it, it's, it's difficult. You know, there's a lot of anxiety as it is being a pregnant mom, a lot of worries about the baby, the health, the safety, um, and then you add on COVID as well. So of course it's, it's a little bit more challenging, but there's also an upside to it where, you know, we really have taken advantage of this time to rest, um, put our feet up, relax, get as much sleep as possible because we all know that's that's going to go away really quickly when mm -hmm. the baby comes out. 
Um, and, and you know, it, it's, it's difficult. It definitely has its challenges. We, just like Annabelle as well, I love to go outside. I love to be outside. I love to be around friends. I think this is a period of time where, you know, you need your support system. You yep. know, you want to have your support system and it's difficult to not be able to physically hug somebody. You know, you're hormonal, you want to cry sometimes, you're frustrated, you're heavy. Um, and, and it, you and don't look heavy. <laughs> You look amazing. I think at this point, I looked like a dugong with Sienna. Like, but you look at you, both you and Annabelle, like from the back, you couldn't even tell that you're pregnant. Like, well, I appreciate it, but I definitely feel it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and so it is nice to have some social interaction with people. Um, but at the same time, you know, it is what it is. Everyone's going through it together. And, and I think um, most pregnant moms are, are, are really doing their best to just stay home. Yeah. Now, circuit breaker will be done by the time you are expected to deliver if the baby comes on time <laughs> and not earlier, right? Yes. Now, I know that in some countries, it's it's been a bit of a situation because the dads are only allowed in there for literally like the birth and the mother is very much left alone. I, I don't actually know right now what the situation is in Singapore for births. Has anything been discussed between you and your gynae about the birth and how practices may or may not change because of the current situation? Um, okay, well, I mean, for now, um, we everything's normal. Uh, so my husband, Mike, can be with me when I'm delivering, and I think post-delivery he can be at the hospital. Um, I haven't heard anything about visitation. Um, so we don't know about that yet, um, and I, I'm not able to do any hospital tours or do any prenatal classes or birthing classes or any of that. So obviously that's all out the window. But in terms of delivery, labor, post-labor, my husband is still able to be there. Now in terms of family and friends, no news yet. I can't cuddle your baby for a while. <laughs> okay, but let's talk about you. You mentioned like the prenatal classes and stuff like mm -hmm. that. How, how are you maintaining some semblance of fitness? You've, as a former professional golfer, you've always been very athletic. You work out a lot, especially pre pregnancy. You are working out all the damn time. Yes. Um, with you. Yeah, yeah, with me, with me, uh, which was always fun. <laughs> but how has that changed during Circuit Breaker and what does your fitness regime look like now? You know what's crazy? I will have to say this. I think I'm working out a lot more now with the circuit breaker than I probably would have without the circuit breaker. No way. Yeah, um, which is ir ironic. And, and I have to say big thank you to UFIT. Um, so I've been doing a lot of their, their group classes virtually online. Uh, so I do twice a week of prenatal Pilates, which is so important. Um, as NML mentioned, there's so many areas of your body that just gets so tight during pregnancy. And so um, doing a little mat work with Pilates is fantastic. And I'm doing twice a week of strength workout, um, also with UFIT and um, as a prenatal strength workout. And then I do my own as well. And then I try and walk between 20 to 45 minutes every single day. Not 20,000 steps that my mom's doing. No, I was just about to say, <laughs> I think your mom's putting all of us to shame here. She puts me to shame. <laughs> like if, if, like I have a 6,000 step count going on my watch and if I hit that, I'm happy because yeah. we're, just, we're just not able, especially if we're stuck at home for most part of the yes. day, we're just not able to clock. It's not physically possible unless you're walking no. the perimeter of your house. <laughs> like non-stop all day it's just not possible we don't have the no, space it's not possible but i also have been incorporating doing steps so i've been climbing the stairs so we we've been using the stairway quite a fair bit we've got 18 floors so i just do a full 18 floors back down and then i'm done you know so i think i try and get at least some form of activity in because you know like you said being ex-professional golfer, I'm so used to being active. I think that's something that helps with your mental state as well, being able to stay at home and, and you're just confined. And especially if you live in a small house, it's difficult. You know, you see the same people all the time. You don't have a, a sense of <laughs> you, routine. You, your husband, your helper, that's it. <laughs> yes, exactly. And, and so that really helps to, to, you know, as we know, sweating and, and getting a workout in really does wonders for your mental state. And speaking of that mental state, because I think it's very important to address the fact that um, you are going to have a coronial. <laughs> <laughs> like what it's called now? COVID baby, coronial, like it, it goes either way, right? It's not quite a millennial, it's a coronial. Um, how, how are you coping? And what have been your coping mechanisms to make sure that you're not spiraling down into an area of panic? Like I think it would be very easy to feel like you're very 
alone and you mentioned earlier mm -hmm. having that support system and constantly trying to reach out to people but yeah. as, as an individual and personally and for other mothers who are expecting out there as well like what do you think could be done to ensure that the mental well-being of the mother is still a positive one yeah i think the most important thing that you can possibly do for yourself right now is to really lean on your partner um, and I've been very blessed because my husband's been there for me um, through and through it all. He's been my rock, my pillar, everything. And, and you know, to, to really open up and have conversations. You know, be honest about your feelings. Uh, don't feel like you're being judged for any of it. And, and I think talking to somebody, whether it's your, your mom on the phone or whether it could be your best friend or it could be your partner, I think having that conversation with somebody really, really helps. Um, and just opening up, you know, and just be like, okay, this is how I feel, and, and this is what I'm struggling with. This is, the anxiety is normal. The panic's normal. It's not like you're being weird. But we live in a very strange time at this moment being pregnant, and there's so many things going through your head. And so I would say, you know, definitely talk to somebody. You know, don't feel like, oh, somebody else is going through the hard time too. Well, we're all in this together, uh, and we're all supporting each other. So for me personally, it's been really just leaning on my husband, and, um, you know, keep your mind busy, you know, read, do things that, that perhaps you've procrastinated. Like for me, I've procrastinated baby books. So I've just been really digging into all the baby books that I've bought, um, trying to get into the sign language, getting ready to, you know, perhaps teach my baby a little sign language, which you have done with Sienna. Yeah, that was um, a lot of fun. <laughs> that was a lot of fun. So, you know, read, listen to a lot of music. I've been doing, you know, listening to a bit of meditation music before I go to sleep. And you've been cooking. I've been cooking. Tell me about your food. Your a food looks lot. amazing. It's like everybody's getting, you know, like well fed during <laughs> this circuit breaker. <laughs> but your food is really, really varied as well. Like you've been cooking Chinese dishes, Mexican dishes. Yeah. Uh, where, like <laughs> tell us a, bit, a little bit about the inspiration for food. Yeah. So Mike and I love to cook. We love being in the kitchen. And I think when this whole circuit breaker happened, we were like, this is a brilliant idea. Let's try and go around the world every week to a different country and cook something from that country. Mm -hmm. um, so in that sense, it challenges us in a, a way, you know, we're not cooking the same things. We're not doing, in fact, I don't, I think we've done one takeout in this entire circuit breaker. Wow. Yeah. So, That's incredible. <laughs> yeah. So we've been cooking. So we cooked uh, Lebanese food because Mike's from, you know, Mike's dad's from Lebanon. So we love Lebanese food. So we cook shawarma, we cook all these different foods and it's so much fun, you know, and it takes up like half your day. It's a good way to kill time. It's a great way to it's kill time. It's a very time. nutritious way to kill time. Yes. So just as we sort of wrap this up, nutrition-wise then, mm -hmm. uh, for pregnant mamas, and obviously you're still looking in great shape. Like I think <laughs> I think I was craving masala tose, and that did not do any favors for my waistline. Um, well, you delivering me cookies is not doing any favors on my waistline. Yes, but your taste buds love me. Love it. Um, yes. So, so nutrition-wise, any advice for mothers out there? Um, yeah, I, I would say, Eat plenty of fruit. Drink a lot of, a lot, a lot of fluid. Now, th this is the greatest thing about a uh, circuit breaker. Being pregnant, you're at home. You don't have to worry about going to the toilet. It's I was right going to say there. it's right there. You it's don't right have there. You don't have to go hunt for it at the mall or anything. So drink plenty of water. Stay hydrated. Now you're hydrating for two. Um, I tend to to try and eat plenty of fruit, plenty of fiber in my diet. I think um, you know, constipation is one of the side effects of pregnancy. So it is real talk, guys. It is real <laughs> talk. <laughs> so you know, it, just trying to keep uh, as much good nutrition in, and and too, like if you have a craving for something, eat like it. cookies. Yeah, you know, uh, cave in, eat it, and, and just find some sort of a, a healthy balance. That's what I'm trying to do. I'm not trying to go no cookies or eat only healthy food. You know, I'm, I'm trying to do a kind of a balance for everything, and and I would say that's kind of what I'm doing. Now, you are also openly posting on your stories about the pregnancy journey. Mm -hmm. um, if other mothers are out there and need a bit of support, are they okay to drop you a message? And Of course, please do. Out? I mean, I, I, I would love to, to hear from you. I would love to have mommy friends as well, um, which would be nice. And, uh, there you yeah, go. We can, hook you up with, we can hook you up with Annabelle. You yes. guys can go do the mommy thing. My, <laughs> yes. my sister-in-law is also pregnant. She's due like a couple of days before you, I think. So there's so many pregnant women that are out there at the moment. And it's nice to know that they can reach out. And, yes, and please do. Yes, please do. And have a conversation with me. Uh, you know, I have nothing else to do anyways. So <laughs> I would love to have a chat with you. <laughs> Thank you very much, Sue Anne, for joining us. We wish you Thank all the best you. of luck with the pregnancy, Thank with you. the delivery, and with the arrival of 
give you a little bundle of joy. I can't Thank wait you. to meet him. <laughs> All righty, we are done for this segment. We are coming back in a short while. Still plenty to come on The Morning Show with Kelly and Barbara. Make sure that you're commenting your little love letters to your mother in the hopes of winning that Subway meal via Grab on our Facebook page. Make sure you share the stream as well. We'll be right back after this break. Don't go away. to the morning show with Kelly and Barbara. Hi, May. Hi, what's up? I'm back. Yeah, with this, with this one person in studio thing, we, we tend not to get to see each other. Hang out very much. much. <laughs> at the beginning and the end, a little bit in between today, we got to hang out with mum, so that was nice. It was nice. Speaking of, make sure you keep those Mother's Day comments coming. All right, we've had so many lovely messages. What we're going to do is read them out a little bit later on, all these beautiful messages, in order to get like a nice free Subway meal. Yeah, exactly. It's super easy to do. All you got to do is just share our stream and then drop us a comment on our Facebook page on this stream telling us why you love mummy so much I know what have you got planned for Mother's Day uh, you've ordered me dim sum right so I've got dim sum coming cuz that wasn't a surprise for mum at all <laughs> <laughs> Wow she just ruined that one in the meantime while I try to not throw something at Kelly, we're going to head over to Nat Dow. She's going to break it down on Family Fridays with uh, something for the kids, maybe something for the parents as well. Stay tuned. Hello and welcome to Break It Down, the time when we get to break down your favourite exercises and movements so you know the ins and outs, the do's and don'ts and the best hacks to make it easier or hopefully harder in some cases. My name is Natalie Dow and today I'll be taking you through Family Fridays. So this section of breaking it down is going to be a little bit different because we're going to be sharing tips to get you through Circuit Breaker as a family at home. So my top tips for starting out when it comes to creating a space to work out at home as a family is dedicate a space to do just that. So if over the next few weeks you need to move some furniture around or you need to create a special corner that is dedicated to fitness, then do that. By doing that, it's going to create some structure in your house and both you and your children will know that that's where you go to exercise. 
The next thing to do is form an agreement with your children. So understand what exercise they like, what exercise you like doing, and agree on what that is going to look like to get you through the next couple of weeks as well. It may be a walk outside, it could be a bike ride, and that will be combined with some safe indoor exercises as well. Next, let's treat it a bit like a meeting and put it into your calendar. It's hectic at home, everyone's working in the same space, so everyone needs to commit to a certain time, just like a meeting, to exercise as a family and work out together. So you're responsible as an adult and your kids are also on the hook to committing to that time every single day. Now the World Health Organization says that children should be exercising 60 minutes a day and adults 30 minutes a day. So make sure that we're working to those specific times as well. Now, why not start the day off and have a bit of fun? Exercise does not need to be boring with children. Let them choose their favourite song and dance around. It's a great start to the day and it gets everyone in a super happy mood. There's other things that you can do as well. So to put some structure in place is things like a squat Monday where everyone needs to start the day doing five squats, push up Tuesday. Uh, whatever it may be. So pick a different exercise for a different day of the week and do that. And it's just those little things that make a difference. Now, of course, we all are mentally challenged at this time as well. Things can be pretty tough. So my top tip as well is to teach your children some mindfulness over this time. And the most simplest way to do that is just to take 10 minutes out a day, turn off all devices, turn off the television, and everyone just sit peacefully for 10 minutes, take a couple of deep breaths, and be thankful for where you are today. Now, I'm gonna be coming up with some more tips over the coming weeks, but I think something to get you started with in in the next week is let's set a challenge that everyone can do at home. Now, I want you all to come up with what your exercise is going to look like every day and it doesn't need to be in one big chunk. Let's break it down into six different 10 minute chunks across the day and that way the kids won't feel overwhelmed and you'll feel much more relaxed delivering this as well. So let's pick some 10 minute workouts and let's start with push-ups, squats, uh, some skipping, and let's see how the kids go doing those with 30 seconds of exercise and 30 seconds of rest across 10 minutes. That's all you need to do for the next seven days. And next week, I'll be checking in with you to see how that has gone as well. Now, if you do try this at home, I really want to hear about what you're doing. Don't forget to tag us on Get Active SG, or sorry, Get Active TV, or if you've got any questions, feel free to shoot us a comment as we'd love to help. I would love to come up with some great workouts for you, so please let me know what you're doing and we can pull them all together and create some great ones. Thanks so much for joining me on Break It Down. It's time for a quick break, but you can come back and then it's over to Kelly and Barbara once more. So don't go anywhere.
Welcome back to the morning show with Kelly and Barbara. It's been a fun family Friday. I've really enjoyed it. It has actually. We've had all the mamas in today. Um, we've got Mother's Day just on the horizon on Sunday. All of you have been commenting these wonderful messages um, to, to everyone's mums. In fact, I'm going to read out um, and just to say a nice little happy Mother's Day to everyone who's commented. So uh, Liu Munfa and Chung Hing, thank you for your Mother's Day wishes. I hope you guys have a great Mother's Day or rather your mothers have a great Mother's Day. Um, Dad also commented yeah. uh, saying that he loves that mum exercises, but it also means that he has to exercise way more now. <laughs> so they're keep, keeping each other accountable, which I think is a really good thing. Yeah, I think Hashtag it's very important. Fam. Like Sue Ann mentioned earlier on, that she leans a lot on her husband, Mike, and mm. it, it's, it comes it's, hand in hand. I do on Justin way, as well. Um, a mag a mag magic. A magic marriage works. A magic marriage. Close enough. Uh, Michelle, happy Mother's Day to your mama as well. She says, uh, the greatest mom in the world. Stay positive, happy and beautiful as always. No. Super duper sweet. And also, Keith, you wrote the most heartwarming message to your mum. Go on then, read it out. My mother always boils chicken soup, reminding us to keep our body warm, less cold water and sleep with socks on. She herself isn't healthy due to heavy workloads in the rubber plantation and when she was young, she fell sick and didn't receive proper treatment. So now every night she's got to soak in herbal water, uh, herbal water and plaster her legs and back. He wishes to send some surprises and love to her, thanking her for her sacrifices and protection to make sure the kids are healthy. Thank you, Mom. You are the best. Oh, Keith's mom, we're sending you lots of love. Yeah. And maybe a Subway meal. We'll see. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, all the prizes will be selected. We'll be selecting our winners a little bit later on in the week. And we will be in touch with you if you walk away with that free Subway meal. Now, we've had great giveaways this week. And we've got even greater ones coming up next week as well. That's Tuesday. Right. It's Taco Tuesday. Taco Tuesday. We've got Papi's Tacos who are going to be giving away some meals for you. So that's lots that you can look forward to next week as well. Grain We've is also coming in. Grain is coming in. Because they're the ones partnering up with Koi. That's right. So who yeah. knows? You could be getting some bubble tea coming your mm -hmm. way. Uh, speaking of guests that we've got coming in next week as well. We're going to be having a styling session with Love Bonito, who has beautifully decked you out today. They are Thank you very much. Uh, outfit sponsors. So, you know, they, they send us some stuff to wear on the show, which is absolutely fantastic. And They've got an effort. That I don't have to spend. Ah, yes, because no one's shopping at this point. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, they've got a great loungewear range uh, and Stella's going to be coming in to talk about how to style yourself up for Zoom calls. Hashtag team no pants. And if you've heard of all of that kerfuffle that's been going online at the moment with people dissing certain YouTubers and the content that they're putting out there making seem make it seem like school content is the only thing that they've got going while well, we've got Tian Hao coming in w via zoom via zoom on Monday because he lives with four elderly people and he doesn't want to uh, risk at all uh, contamination for them and making sure that they stay safe but he's going to come in and talk to us a little bit about the content that he's been producing he is Singapore's most subscribed youtuber mm -hmm. he is God, I think it's 4.1 million subscribers on YouTube, which is pretty That's impressive. That's close to like the entire population of Singapore. We've got what? five mil now something like that um, so he's going to be coming on the show as well to talk to us a little bit about generating uh, viral content and how he's dealing with all them haters Muna is going to be having a little chat with us via zoom too mm -hmm. so that'll be really fun both of us went to school with Muna actually mm. we were in the same secondary school we were in poly together so that's going to be an interesting chat and we've got some special VIPs coming your way next week as well Interesting. So make sure you join us here on The Morning Show. There's going to be plenty of things for you to watch and look forward to. Uh, from myself and Barbara, we wish all the mothers out there a very, very happy Mother's Day. In case you're looking for things, for things to shop last minute, ChrisShop.com has some great deals for mothers. Uh, you can also shop local as well on their site and use the tag Support, support local, local to get 10% off. They've got off. some great stuff on there. I really wanted to buy some stuff for myself, but I had to hold back. Mm, good job. I hope you guys managed to get in on all those Under Armour deals and discounts yesterday as well. That 40% off, we had so many people writing in saying, thank you for the promo code. So fingers crossed we get more stuff like that coming your way as well. You've got this afternoon, Uppercut. Uppercut is back in the house. And then later tonight, we've got our two Sports SG fellas. 
Yeah, uh, who are coming in. Um, <laughs> Duncan newly and John. promoted daddy Duncan will be in with John Young. That's right. So make sure you stick with us here on Get Active TV. Like, share the stream and comment and send your love to your mother. And we will see you on Monday, bright and early. First thing with First Light at 7.30. And then make sure you stick around for us at 10 o'clock, bringing you all the good stuff on The Morning Show with Kelly and Barbara. Whatever you're doing this weekend and however you're celebrating Mother's Day, remember to stay safe, stay strong and stay, stay at, at home. home.